Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. Let's get straight into your reading as we always do and pull your angel card. So message for Capricorn please, angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Capricorns for the week, thank you. Okay, I've got two angel cards here. The answer is no. Don't stop. <laughs> okay. No. Are you? I mean, if you're thinking about giving in, is this, you know, do I throw the towel in? I'm, I'm definitely getting the energy of no. You've got to keep going. Interesting. We'll see what else we get, Capricorn. Cards come out for a reason, as always. Okay, so I'll um, pull three cards. And then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. You know by now we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, as always. Okay. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides for the week, 19th to the 25th of April, 2021 message for our lovely Capricorn thank you Knight of Wands in the challenge position yeah Nine of Wands keep going don't stop <laughs> that is definitely the message of that card and we have the King of Pentacles which can be you male or female energy or it can be somebody in your life maybe another earth sign not limited to that Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Yeah, there's too many there. Just one card, please. One to two cards. Thank you for Capricorn. Oh. Gosh, you're okay, thank you. Uh, page of Pentacles, that was, that just literally wanted to come out. Uh, we have the Nine of Wands, King of Pentacles again. I feel that is you, Capricorn, I do. Um, we have the Five of Pentacles here. And the Ten of Wands. Oh, I love it, Ten. You can see the maths here, can't you? You know, one wand and the nine wand and ten wands. And ten is a completion. Yeah. It hasn't quite come to fruition yet. And that's what you're being told in the challenge position. Uh, I'm feeling this is money, career, finances. And it's to do with financial career, business recovery. Capricorn, the good thing is... There is some kind of opportunity coming your way. I'm sensing frustration, delays, things not moving as fast as you want them to. But that Page of Pentacles is definitely an energy of... Uh, it can, Page of Pentacles can represent materially uh, messages to do with uh, money, career, finances. So job offers, business opportunities, uh, new business you know, potential, you know, it's about sowing seeds for future growth and giving something a go, you know, it's generally the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of a, a new path, the beginnings of change with the pages. But it feels because it's a challenged position, it's not happening. Um, I mean, I'm getting frustration as well. You know, there's a frustrating energy here. And, I, and I'm definitely getting for some of you, you just want to throw in the towel. And the message is don't, you know, the Knight of Wands is always, this is, the Knight of Wands is being challenged in this reading. So the Knight of Wands is somebody who takes the reins and goes for it, you know, has drive and passion and puts his energy into everything. But when he's challenged, it is just that much harder, you know, it's just, it takes that much more energy and discipline and strength and courage and action but the knight's going for what the i'm definitely getting what this page is offering again the the knight can also be an opportunity a business opportunity but it, it feels in this situation 
there's there's frustration frustrating energies it's just not happening as quickly as you want it to here there's a lack of progress And there may well have, you know, it might well be in this situation as well, Capricorn, there may well be some learning or lessons that you're learning along the way, which, you know, can be good and bad, but it's almost kind of like sometimes there's an energy of, of you know, uh, sometimes, you know, to get the end result, you know, there are things that you need to learn before you actually get the right thing. And that's what I'm getting for you as well. But it feels in this energy, there's just a lot of frustration. You've gone through a testing time, you know. Test of faith, that's what you are experiencing. Um, because this is the wounded warrior. They're one wand away. So there's definitely a, manage, a message here of, yeah, it's frustrating, frustrating or the delays. Or there's a lack of progress on something. But you're actually closer than you think. Now, the King of Pentacles is a sign of achievement and success, material success, money, career, finances. So it feels in this situation, Capricorn, and I'm seeing this as you. The King is also somebody who represents stability, security, safety, success. Somebody who understands how to make money. Somebody else who understands how to manifest and create his conscious world, you know, by his actions and harnessing his practical abilities, knowledge, experience. So, you know, there's a message of you need to be fully aware of what you're capable of here. There is perseverance that's needed. Do you want to throw in the towel? The answer is no, don't throw in the towel. You're actually closer than you think. Uh, it feels like there's sometimes in this energy, there's one thing to go, one obstacle to go, one hurdle to overcome, and then there's the green light but it can be a testing energy for that reason however Capricorn you know because you know in the five of pentacles is about feeling lack you know it's lacks uh, lack of sufficiency and it feels to do with money career finances um, feeling out in the cold I mean it might well be just it this experience is a bit isolating uh it, it can be to do with job losses it can be to do with changes in terms of your money career finances financial losses as well um but it feels in this situation there is a need you know to understand that you're being watched over by the window of the church god the universe the divine during your time of need and there's definitely an energy here of no don't give in things are close it's closer than you think and then we have the Ten of Wands, which can be a card of burden over a significant period of time, carrying burden, but it can also be a card of extremely hard work. There's definitely this energy of what conquered you, you know, this Nine of Wands, the one step away from you getting the goal. It definitely feels in this energy, the hard work is going to be rewarded here because we have the King of Pentacles, you know, back on top of this. So I'm definitely feeling in this energy, somebody has been challenged in terms of money, career, finances, but they're turning this around. It feels you're one step away from turning it around. Soon there will be a weight that's lifted, it feels, but there's a message of your, it, it feels you're one step away from turning some difficult situation around. It feels to do with money, career, finances. So let's clarify this king in the uh, near future. Yeah, it's coming your way. Look, it's coming your way. Uh, your ships are coming in and that's what you're being told. It's coming, keep going. This is about manifesting a new path, the two threes. It's also divine, divine blessings as well. Three is a master number. And we have the Mars in Capricorn. If you keep taking action, if you stay in your power and keep on working towards something, we have the beginnings of success here with the Three of Pentacles. And this is the first signs of success coming your way. The ships are coming in. You know, the Three of Pentacles is... Uh, beginning to see the first signs that are the first, beginning to reap the first 
signs of reward certainly in terms of money career finances it's very good it can be about teamwork collaboration partnerships business partnerships it can also be in terms of jobs money security call it what you will but it's coming you know you know it's not quite in the harbor yet with the three of wands but it's coming and it feels like you're one step away you're just one step away capricorn the weight is soon going to be lifted you're one step away so don't give up and that is the message for the week it feels you are. I mean, look at how this king is changing uh, from, you know, ad advice from spirit to the near future outcome. I'm definitely getting this energy of you are getting on top of a situation, but you just need to stay in your power because that's how you bring the achievement in. So don't let uh, the situation get on top of you. You're one step away from getting that achievement, significant success coming your way. Yeah. So I'm going to pull a final card. Oh, okay, that fell out. So I've got healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. I also see that as recovery as well. Uh, thank you. Moon energy. Nice. We've got surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and to reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Yeah. And, you know, this is the moon energy, moon in Sagittarius, the difficult journey is almost over. And soon there's going to be new clarity coming your way. Yeah, it definitely feels in this energy. There's just one. You're just one step away. You're just one step away. So keep going. Your ships are coming in. So Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.